Okay, next one now. Um, again, this repression here. Ordinary level paper one. I oh, it's just still the Irish version. Okay. Let's see what's next now. Um, we have a quadratic. B and C are real, and the function contains the point three minus one. Or maybe that's saying the turning point is three minus one. Hmm. Um, because if it's looking for B and C, Google Translate time. I bet it's, I bet this must be a um, turning point question. EA minimum, minimum, yeah. Okay, great, that's fine. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, so the three minus one's the minimum. Um, couple of ways to do it i think the first thing is to say that the three minus one is on this so it, it could be subbed in and you could arrive at three squared is nine plus three times b plus c has to equal minus one so you get three b plus c has to equal minus ten and the derivative is two x plus b that's the derivative and uh, that's supposed to be zero at minus three. So two times three, so six plus B should equal zero. So looks like I get B is minus six, and then I can sub that in here, and I'll get minus 18 plus C equals minus 10. So C will be 18 minus 10, so C is eight. We can check the answer. If I have fx equals x squared um, minus 6x plus 8, and then we sub in 3, so 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8, that does give us minus 1. And then the derivative is 2x minus 6. And again, if I sub in 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 6 is 0. So I think that's okay. Uh, okay, what have we got now? A limit, it looks like. Let's have a look at this limit now. Right. Um, basically, I, I guess they want the limit as n goes to infinity. So the trick here is to divide in the first fraction by n. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over n. Everything gets divided by n. Same trick for the second fraction. 1 plus 1,000 over n over 1. And just keep the last one the same. Or if you want, put the n in. So when n tends to infinity, what will happen is this guy will vanish. Because it's 1 over infinity, essentially. So will this guy, and so will this guy. They'll all vanish. So you'll just be left at 1 over 1 plus 0, plus 1 plus 0 over 1, plus 0. So that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. If you want to check in on your calculator, all you have to do is type in a large value of n. So I'll say 100 over 101, plus uh, 100, plus 1,000 over 100 plus 1 over 3 power 100 and my calculator reports to me uh, something not quite right <laughs> 100 over 100 plus 1 100 plus 1000 over 100 plus 1 over 3 power 100 
Okay, maybe I have to use a bigger number than a hundred. Oh, because a thousand is in it. Yeah, I should use something like a million. One, two, three, four, five, six, a million. Over one, two, three, four, five, six, a million plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, a million plus a thousand over two, three, four, five, six, a million. Plus one over three power a million, if that doesn't break the calculator. Yeah, 2.000999. Yeah, so uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, now what's going on here? Uh, the graph, the function between minus 2 and 2. The graph is shown on both diagrams. On the quarter diagram below, draw the graph of that. Okay. Ah, translations. Okie dokie. No problem. So we want to translate here. Yeah, okay. So the translation is dropping it by two, basically. So as carefully as you can, just lower all the points by two units. So that goes down, that goes down, that goes down. Let's just get a little bit harder here. So that would be about there. And, uh, one, two, uh, about there, is it? I'm trying my best to draw it. So it's a straight line here and then curve in here. So that's... What happens when you minus two, you just lower the heights by two units. Okay. Ah, okay, I see what's going on here. It's testing the student's knowledge of translations. So, this one here now, this could catch people out. The plus three actually makes the graph move to the left three units. So, carefully moving all the points three units left so one two three one two three um let's move this one here one two three and then this one here one two three so again it'll be a straight line here and then curve in like that okay oh okay that, that's it. Yeah, I assume that's exactly the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I don't think I am misunderstanding these yet. I thought, oh, this must be proven that root 2 is irrational. Classic question coming up next. A classic... Proof by contradiction question. 